G'day guys, Rod here again from Australia, far north Queensland. In today's video clip, I'm going to show you how you can turn one of these IBC tote tanks into a great little aquaponics system to feed your family. Now I like to use these, these tote tanks or IBC tanks for everything that I do. Um, they're great, versatile tank and they're so easy to find and um, once you get some really good high quality ones you'll see what I mean but look you can use them for a larger system or a smaller system that we're going to use for today but on a larger system you could cut the top off and that becomes a grow bed you could cut the bottom off and that becomes a grow bed and then you dispose of that little piece in the middle you don't need it in that situation or you can use the top uh, for a grow bed and the remainder to put fish in which is what we're going to do today and then put a few timbers in between you could also use it as a sump tank you could cut the bottom off and the top becomes a one grow bed and the bottom becomes a sump tank which is where you would drain all your uh, aquaponics water into so today we're just gonna we're gonna ch chop the top off here the bottom remains the same we won't touch that and the cage itself we won't even cut the cage so with this this technique i never even cut the cage i just use the cage as it is um, less work really <laughs> okay so step number one we need to unscrew uh, these little screws in here take out these rods that are, that's holding the tank in and then we'll remove the tank um, but we don't throw the rods away we'll reuse those later somewhere else in the garden And to help you further understand how I built this IBC system, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can grab my quick start guide, uh, parts list, and uh, additional training so you can follow along and later build one of these for yourself. You really gotta make sure that uh, the tanks, these IBC tanks are really, really well cleaned. And um, what I've done is I've put in a lot of vinegar here, swished that around for a while. Now this had a little bit of oil in this particular tank. Now you can still use tanks that have had oil in them, it's just you need to clean them a lot longer. And then I um, let it all out. So that's what I'm doing here. As you see, I'm just letting it all out on the ground. Now, bear in mind that vinegar will kill earthworms. It, it, it does all the time. So you can do this anywhere, like on a gravel driveway or in a cement driveway, but you've just got to understand that at the bottom end of that driveway or gravel, it will kill worms. So let's have a look here. As a, a bonus though, it does clean your driveways. Make sure you always wear safety glasses. And in this case, I'm going to use a grinder or metal cut-off wheel. What you really need to do is just cut these little bits off the bottom. I've got the the grow bed sitting on a couple of wheelie bins under there. It's perfect height. And we'll start with the grinder because it makes it quick and easy. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just put some silicon in here and just silicon it all on. That way it's never going to leak and I'll tighten it all up. Um, but one thing to note is some lids, not all of them, have got this little tiny rubber. 
tiniest, tiniest little thing. What I do is put some silicon in there too and stick that on. Now it's an air vent. It's okay when it had some sort of food or whatever's in here, but we don't need the air vent. We actually want to hold water. So if you don't do that, it's gonna leak. Okay, I usually put the silicon, just a bead of silicon inside the lid like so. And then add a little bit extra, that little dollop in the middle there. Well, that little gadget. What I like to do too, is just get a little, little chisel and a hammer, and just that little in, that piece in the middle. Just see if that will tighten up. It sometimes that's loose. Okay, good. Great. Okay, so that's all siliconed up now. Okay, here's a little mini unit, just a one meter square, just one OBC. It's a finished product almost finished um, just needs to I'll just put in a um, bulkhead fitting and then connect the pump up but as you can see I've cut just bits and pieces of timber that I found made it work so what I've done is I've just used any scrap pieces that I can find and notched it in I could have done a bit better on the notching but uh, just notched it in so you know it just wouldn't fall and what I might do as well is just put a single screw just in the end, just to hold it in place. Just important, you could use any, any sort of timber. Some people use the tops of the IBC, the uh, arms, the rods. You could use metal. Um, if you're good at welding, you can weld up some cages and, and yeah, use a bit of uh, tack welded all together, but I'm not a welder, so I like to do things the easy way. Aquaponics is meant to be easy. Uh, so I just use scrap timber. Now uh, this is treated pine. Now, treated pine is not necessarily good for your fish, but this is actually uh, old treated pine that's been stored outside. So, it's any nasties in any sort of uh, treatment of the pine is actually already leached out. So that's not really a concern. But hey, just on that topic, if you've got treated pine, uh, make sure that it's not new treated pine because it will leach out into your fish and that sort of thing kills your fish can't remember what's in there but treated pine is treated with what i shall recall another time and let you know um i'll put it at the bottom of the video so as you see it's a pretty simple design just chop the top off chop the bottom and what i'll have to do as well is i'll cut a little a little piece out here i'll just cut that out and that way it's easy um, for your fish and it's easy access for the fish in there Okay, so I've just marked it out simply with a, a whiteboard marker, uh, just around exactly where I want to cut it. Now, ideally, I should take this this uh, internal plastic bladder out and cut it. I'm not going to do that because I just screwed these pieces of timber on. So I'm just going to cut it now. Won't take long. Just using the jigsaw, make it easy. All right, so just cut that little piece out, and then. It's easy access for your hand to feed the fish and see your fish. All right, so we just add on our pipe and that's how she's gonna fit underneath. Uh, so the water will flow in from the upstand. It'll go underneath through the siphon down and out into our system. Hey guys, I'm here at uh, Beck's house and as you can see he's one week old with her one bed system here. Um, we just planted a few few chives, garlic chives, very quickly and simply just, just digging one handful just straight out of my system. We've just added a bit of spinach, uh, Brazilian spinach, but have a look at these. One week old growth, not even a week old. Cucumbers popping up, we've got snow peas coming up and um, that's just less than a week. Of growth, so phenomenal growth rate. The water is still a bit cloudy from all the from all the quinken uh, gravel that we used, the volcanic gravel. Uh, a little bit cloudy. It's going to settle down very soon. 
just added a little bit of uh, bacteria to the water and duckweed and by adding all the plants to the top that's added with the roots from my system I've added just a little bit of that uh, bacteria as well from my system so later on we'll add a couple of bucket loads of uh, my water and that'll really kick off the bacteria very quickly excellent work Beck excellent work doing a good job All right, here we are, you can see behind me, this is Beck's aquaponic system, only a couple of weeks old, I think we're at the third week mark, maybe fourth week, and look at the size of that, we only just planted it all out, and it's getting out of control, you can see the spinach is growing crazily, we've got zucchinis in there, what else have we got, we've got um, tomatoes, we've got cucumbers have already been harvested, we've got shallots, it's all happening at Beck's place. So it's only a couple of weeks and very exciting. Even the fish are getting huge. You can see the fingerlings in here. Quite large. They're at least 10 centimeters. She's feeding them well. So that's what you can do. Very short amount of time. I promised earlier that I'd let you know at the end now uh, how you can get yourself uh, all the information that I that I used. So I've put together a parts list, I've put together a quick start guide and that lists all the tools that I used in all those uh, individual components. Look I've also put together a step-by-step -step, 10 part video module uh, in how to build your own IBC aquaponics system that you've seen. So now there's no excuses for you whatsoever and um, and you can just go ahead and, and jump into the, into the uh, link below and, and have a look at that. And if this video has helped you in any way, I'd really appreciate it if you can just click that like button for me and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And that way I can help so many other people because YouTube will then promote my videos and I'll be able to uh, get in touch with so many other people and help them on their aquaponics journey.